Hello viewers, the Fusion Gamer here, coming at you with part 6 of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Now that we accomplished all we can right now in the Sea Needle, we're gonna be taking this elevator back down to downtown streets. And here, we're gonna keep moving further into the streets. Using that ramp. First, we got that robot. Now, before I do that, I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything there, but I'm not, so let's uh, use it now. Hopefully, not getting around to all these robots. Yep, Hi, Gary. Gary's here, even though I wasn't playing on that. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean? Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse. Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Wow! What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Meow, meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Yeah, Sandy's main purpose is, as a playable character is to get across large gaps such as that one. Now, for, well, before I, Gary interrupted me, I was gonna go up there and get that uh, shiny object, but now it doesn't look like I'll be able to. Just my side! <laughs> Seems you can't reach something like that. Bubble Bash is the answer. And with that jellyfish there. Create another shortcut back here. And then back there. Now coming up here. To make the bus stop. Switch to Sandy. And we finished at the bottom of the downtown streets, just about. Next, before using your your lasso to get across there, you can do this as Punch or Sandy, just jump down, grab that uh, steering wheel. Teleport box activated. Gonna start heading up to the top of that building where that golden spatula is. Now, use the sandy lasso to get across gaps like this. Turn around here. And use it again to get to that purple shiny object. Someone better make good use of all these. Turn around here. No, let's do this yet, but oh yeah, it's the same building. Okay, now we'll use the lasso across here. Double jump across here. Turn back. Hop down here. The last one we get across the list is one of the Patrick Socks. And now, if you think there's no way back up, they put trampolines around town once you switch to Sandy to get you right up back up to a rooftop. Across here, and Sandy has 
chop attack. And if she jumps in its square to body kick. And jump across to this building. And if something has the arrows point to it when you're playing a Sandy, that means you would circle. You can lasso it. These things right here. You get circled by them and you swing across like this. Here's a robot that can be lassoed since she doesn't have anything like a bubble bounce or belly flop. Go up to the top, destroy this duplicatron. Swing across. Oh, I need to see something. Okay. Swing across here. Keep going. Don't worry for falling. Tell for boxes activated. So, swing across here. Destroy that cannon that was doing furniture earlier. Find another spear. Here's another one. If you look up there, there's one Patrick socks we can get right now. I last one off of that. Move around, grab the sock. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. trampoline to hop back up. Oh, I can land on it. And swing one more lasso across. Get the golden spatula. Third one here. Hop up here and go through the window to get to the official downtown rooftops. Hey Larry, what's shaking? Sandy, boy am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. Where are we going, spatula? Wait. The robots have blocked off that... I didn't, he, I didn't, don't know what happened there. Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. I don't know why Larry just shut up there while he was, his mouth was moving. But before heading across the rooftops, you come back here, this is the way back down to the street. But if you notice this button, you can't do a bubble balance. So if you come around the corner, there is a bus stop. Switch back to the bubble valve for the moment. Use the bubble balance here. You can hop and use this trampoline to go through these teepees. Jump here. And find yet another one of Patrick's lost socks. He does a special jump here. He can't get to that gold special, but he can't activate this teleport box. Now, with that, that's all SpongeBob can do in the, at the moment. So let's get back to Sandy and start hanging across these rooftops.
they were able to do that to that life, so. And I'm the Gantudus to a robot we saw earlier, but this is his official introduction. <laughs> being a little funky right now. Another second time with a close call to the game freezing. Cross carefully not to get hit by his rocket. And you can lasso him or do a jump rocket. Destroying him will activate this to get you up to this rooftop. I'm getting dizzy just watching. Messing with Texas. Ah. Cross here. Ah. Can't 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 ah. This platform. Yeah, if you fall here on the rooftops, you'll have to reset on the last checkpoint upon falling by the streets rooftops. If you can be careful here, you can you can actually knock. If you're careful, you can knock the small one into the duo, but I was able to do it right there. Nothing so, can stop a land this checkpoint, which isn't feed the clam here, the shy objects, the bun will be activated to press, and you'll have a path of roping to get to that going spatula. But it is on time on it, so move quick. Double jump around the corners. get to the end of this road, you're going to have to use the lasso to glide on over to the fourth going spatula of downtown to keep down. Now hop on down and use the teleport box to head back. Across here, activate this undertaking. Watch out for this tartar, it does a really day all the time in this area. The last of these tiki's over here. Try the last of the. Try it. You can try, but you most likely can't try with the other one. So after that one is destroyed, you can do that. Last of these feelers, which 
Oh, you open the water, but she can't sneak, so to destroy Tiki, she needs to use your lasso. Now with that destroyed, the spine will be able to be discovered and the path to get higher on the rooftops. And there's a little slide here, the only slide really, in downtown Bikini Bottom, so the music doesn't change. Let's fall down here. We have another one, Patrick stops. Lasso across for the, Here's another one. the second to last steering wheel. Good lasso back, no problem. Just grab on. Just trampoline to go down this pipe slide again. And across here, we almost reach Larry's antenna. Got for the chuck on the way though. Sandy can't progress any further. You have to hit that SpongeBob, and if you switch back to Sandy, unfortunately, it deactivates. So, hit SpongeBob now. It shines. Patrick socks back here. Sneak up to these tiki's, take them out. Open up the helper box, which will take you back to Larry. And now, the last area in downtown, the lighthouse. Ready, set, go. So instead of a big boss like we had, King Jellyfish and Jellyfish Field, this one, it's a lighthouse where the floor keeps dropping and you have to destroy each super chaos on as you go down. Try to predict where it will be next. They usually go, they usually go towards the right. 
But not every time. is it for the lighthouse. On this side, I I have the last steering wheel and a button. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. With Patrick's sock at the top. Gonna use this, these trampolines to get up there. Back down. Take the golden spatula. And this was the door that Bubble Buddy was talking about being locked from the inside. So you can exit out to the downtown streets right here. to open this door from the inside. Oh, I forgot about that purple shiny object. So bad though. So, to get back to Mrs. Puff easily, I can use these trampolines to get up here, but SpongeBob can't really get much across here but it's still a shortcut over here and then you can come out this way and Mrs. Puff is right over there by the taxi station Spongebob <laughs> I'm impressed how did you fight well there were these robots I met Sandy and the lighthouse was okay okay sorry I asked Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. <laughs> oh. A library card. And this is the last golden spatula we can get in downtown to keep bomb at the moment. The 18th one in this game. And if you look, there's still one more. But you have to come back with a move we don't have quite yet. So, in the next part. We'll be heading to a new area from the neighborhood. See you guys then.